Emma at your service. I'm going to present to you a kind of variation wherein the situation requires the use of two or more quantities. Now, physical relationships such as areas and volumes requires more than three variables simultaneously. So these kinds of variation help you deal with problems involving three or more variables simultaneously. Now what kind of variation is this? This is called joint variation. Now what is joint variation? It describes a situation where one variable varies directly as the product of two or more other variables and one is held constant. For instance, the statement A varies jointly as B and C means A equals K B C or K equals A divided by B C where K is the constant of variation. Okay, let us now go to example. First example is find the constant of variation and the equation of the relation where A varies jointly as B and C and A equals 36 when B equals 3 and C equals 4. Okay, solution. First, we're going to translate the statement into mathematical equation. We have A varies jointly as B and C. K here is the constant of variation. Then we will substitute A with 36 equals write K since this is the constant. Then substitute B with 3 and substitute C with 4. So we have now 36 equals K times 3 times 4 is 12. So we have to be able to solve for K, we will divide both sides by 12. Divide 36 by 12, we have the right side divided by 12. So, 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1. So we have now 1K is equal to 36 divided by 12 is 3. So our K, which is the constant of variation, is 3. Next, therefore, our constant of variation is 3. And our equation, equation of variation is a equals 3bc. That's it. Let's now go to the second example. Number two, if y varies jointly as x and the square of z and y equals 48 when x equals 3 and z equals 2, find A constant of variation and B, the value of Y with X equals 2 and Z equals 3. Okay, solution A. We're going to find first the constant of variation. So again, we will translate the statement into mathematical equation. We have solution A. So we 
Solve first the constant of variation. So translate the statement into mathematical equation. Y varies jointly as x and the square of z. So we have z squared. So substitute y with 48. Copy k, which is the constant. Then substitute x with 3. And substitute z with 2. This is squared. Then we have 48 equals copy k. 3 times 2 squared is 4. So 48 equals k times 3 times 4 is 12. So to solve for k, we'll divide both sides by 12. So 48 divided by 12 equals k times 12 divided by 12. So we have minus 4 equals k. Okay, we'll now proceed to letter B. Find the value of y when x equals 2 and z equals 3. So we have letter B, write the equation y equals kxz squared. y equals substitute k with 4 times substitute x with 2 and substitute z with 3 squared. So y equals 4 times 2 times 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So y equals 8 times 9. Y equals 72. This is now the value of y. For the third example, we have a problem. The mass of a rectangular sheet of wood varies jointly as the length and the width. When the length is 20 centimeters and the width is 10 centimeters, the mass is 200 grams. Find the mass when the length is 15 centimeters and the width is 10 centimeters. So first, we're going to translate the statement into equation of variation. So, okay, first solution. We're, uh, we're going to translate the sentence, uh, the statement first into mathematical equation. So the mass m equals k, which is the constant, varies jointly as length and width. So mass is given which is 200 grams equals copy K substitute L with 20 centimeters times substitute with W substitute W with 10 centimeters. So we have now 200 grams equals K times 200 centimeter squared. So to solve for K, we will divide both sides by 200 centimeter squared. Divide also the right side by 200 centimeter squared. So we have 200 grams divided by 200 centimeter squared. We have 1 gram per centimeter squared equals K. This is now our K. Okay, for letter B solution. 
For you to find the mass when the length is 15 centimeters and the width is 10 centimeters. So we have now the equation of variation which is m equals uh, 1 gram per centimeter squared times L times width. So we are going to find the mass when L equals substitute L with 15 centimeters and substitute with by 10 centimeters. So we have now M equals 1 gram per centimeter squared times 15 centimeter times 10 centimeter is 150 centimeter squared. Okay, so to find the mass, we have M equals 1 gram over centimeter squared times 150 centimeter squared. M equals, we can cancel centimeter squared. So what is left is 1 gram times 150 is 150 grams. Tapos. Okay, that's all. Thanks for listening and I hope you will subscribe. Good day everyone.